So last year we spent thousands on compost and honestly it was not that great. So this year we are doing all of our own compost. Dan has been working really hard. Today we're going to show you how we built the nine compost piles we currently have going on um, in our farm. We got this compost recipe from Billy Bond over at Promo Pastures Farm and I'll provide a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, we're doing a lot of compost because we bought a lot of compost last year. It's supposed to be organic compost. It was uh, not very good at all. So we decided this year not to spend that money and we're gonna make our own compost. But we didn't start making it last summer, so we're stuck making it in the, in the winter time. Billy Bond's recipe for a system for making compost is really designed to be made in the summertime when it's warm out. So we're trying to do it when we've got freezing temperatures, high winds. So we've had a lot of challenges with getting our piles up to temperature. Um, the minimum temperature, um, as far as the benchmark that Billy teaches in his class, is 131 degrees, and then he shows you how to go on from there. This is going to show you how we mix the components together, how we flip the piles, some of the challenges that we had. But it's just a good down and dirty overview to kind of show you what we have going on with our compost system. This we year. have nine active compost piles going, so we're tracking on the temperature on a daily basis. Uh, we have benchmarks, so once we hit our certain benchmark, then it tells us based on the temperature that it's time to flip it. So we got some challenges trying to compost in the middle of the winter. It's never easier. It's not only the middle of the winter, we got a warm week this week, so we're flipping all the piles. But as we're discovering, as we're taking these piles apart to flip it, totally frozen solid in the center where the core is supposed to be. Oh my gosh. I mean, it is ice. We've got almost triple, look at this, it's all just frozen solid together. We have almost triple the amount of high nitrogen that we're using in these piles. We still having trouble, but we had some 60 mile an hour winds. We had below freezing temperatures with the wind. It was just keeping these compost piles frozen. You break up, especially the clumps of manure. And you know, if you want, you can wear nitrex gloves, but I don't mind touching a little bit of cow poop. It's just processed grass. Just don't lick your fingers. 